All right, welcome to Machines and More. Today, I've been invited by Lee and Lee to check out some of their new product offerings that they're gonna announce. Um, I did just get off at the Nangang uh, Exhibition Center station with the MRT. Um, that's where Computex is gonna be, that exhibition center. But today, we're heading about a 30 minute walk from here, I think, about a mile. I think the content from this release is gonna be embargoed until the day that Computex opens. So it may be a little bit uh, of, uh, of a wait until we see some of those things, but you guys are gonna see it first. First, I uh, was supposed to get on a bus to, to get here, but um, I saw the bus as it was leaving. So I had to kind of change plans here, get on the MRT, and then I said do a 26 minute walk, which, you know, kind of what I need after last night ate at a really good all-you-can-eat buffet here in the regent hotel in taipei my goodness just got to the studio here i'm um, getting my hair and makeup done see looking good looking sharp um now we're just waiting for the stuff to get set up they're just um putting the new stuff out and we'll be able to check it out shortly um and so we're just gonna sit tight we're just getting started here Gamer Next just arrived in the studio. A few new cases up on the horizon. Let's start with the most interesting one. They're calling this one the SUP or the standout performance. Kind of sounds like the SUP Meshlicious, but the volume is more similar to the O11 Mini featuring a different layout. It's got its vertical GPU mounting position similar to that SUP Meshlicious, but it's um, at the front of the case. And interestingly, your radiator, it'll go behind the motherboard tray. For the demo, they had the fan set up into two columns, one column exhausting, one column intaking. Uh, according to Lee and Lee, this airflow orientation will work well for a scenario where both the GPU and CPU performance is equally important. I'm curious how well, because oftentimes with a fan setup like this, there can be turbulence. One could also run all the fans here as exhaust, and that in theory should really help the GPU by drawing makeup air to the front panel into the card's cooler. You will need to be able to give the case side clearance airflow, so if you wanted to display it by putting the vented side panel uh, up against a wall, that's not going to work well. It's kind of a segmented type of case, like a sandwich style case, and due to how limited the clearance is for an air cooler, this is pretty much case geared to an AIO, and that's gonna perform significantly better than a low profile air cooler. Glass panel at the top, power supply section at the bottom. One tricky thing here is getting the graphics card cable in, but that should be minimal inconvenience due to how infrequently that would be done and this will be available mid-October. Next up is an update in their O11 lineup. This one is co-branded with PCMR and is called the O11 Vision. The biggest change here is a three-piece glass design. Gone is the top radiator mount, replaced by a piece of glass. There's no support bracket on the front corner, so it's a zero edge, kind of like uh, an aquarium of sorts. Um, the pieces will meet at a magnetic bracket. It's kind of fancy, but uh, you might see some of the gaps in the glass here with the prototype. Uh, but as I understand, they are aware of this. They're uh, assuring me that they're going to be closing those gaps up in the production model. Because the top mount is gone, an additional spot for a 240 is provided at the rear of the case, in addition to the side mountable 360, which is still probably the more ideal location for your radiator. You can run bottom fans here to aid the GPU small gap at the bottom for airflow. Uh, rear panels all come off pretty easily. There is a protrusion at the back where the power supply sits. If so desired, the power supply can be the last thing to go in since you can then insert it from the outside. Uh, it does add a little bit of external dimension though. And uh, from what I'm told, even if you go with a smaller PSU, you don't have an option to flush mount it inside the case. Projected availability is also October 23. Last up for new cases is the O11D EVO RGB. D stands for dynamic, but also references the co-branding with Drabauer. Main update here is the L-shaped LED strips, and uh, this is similar construction to the streamer cables that they make. These accentuate the scene between the glass panels, and it kind of reminds me of some of the buildings here in Taipei with the way the LEDs run. This case also has the ability to go frameless on the front seam where the glass meets. However, it will ship with a support bracket installed, and you can take that off afterwards if you want. It does retain the top rad capability, so if you are looking to top mount the rad, this will be the one. It also has a protruding rear power supply section, as well an accessible location for HDDs. Availability is late September. 
Some new fans here, one of these has an LCD display on top, the Unifan TL LCD. The other is a liquid crystal polymer or LCP equipped Unifan LED. Both of these have the RPM and LED control built into a controller that comes with the three pack and the video input for the LCD models also be uh, going to be controlled by that controller. Both have fluid dynamic bearings and infinity mirror side panels. They are also ARGB2, so the fans have separate RGB zones that the user can designate uh, the colors for separately. And the display floats on a shaft. This will come in reverse and regular blade orientations. I think the usability of the fan's display will depend ultimately on the case. Most logically, this will go against a side wall like in the L11s we just looked at, uh, at the top or the bottom. It might be harder to see the display, but nonetheless, very interesting fans here. Pricing is still TBD, but a three pack with controller version of the LCD version should come in less than 140 US uh, and the LED only version, a three pack will be 109. Finally, a few new AOs in the Galahad family. This one is the Galahad 2 Trinity. Trinity here refers to the three sets of pump caps or covers that you get in order to customize your uh, lighting setup. Uh, one is the one piece shroud metallic disc. In addition, you'll also get a translucent outer ring along with two center discs. The neat thing here is how sharp the contrast can be between the two sections. 27 millimeter rat in both 360 and 240 options and the Apple tech made pump will run up to 3200 RPM. The 360 millimeter version is expected to come in at 149 there and there also is going to be an SL infinity fan equipped version for 189 as well. There is also a performance version. This one is 360 only slightly wider at 130 mil and thicker at 32 mil for the radiator. Also has double stacked heat fins for more surface area. Lian Lee claims about a three degree improvement for the double stacked version over the single stacked radiator uh, on a 13900K. Uh, with the increased static pressure demands here, Lian Lee has specced a higher performance oriented fan with LCP blades. These are not the B28s, but they're saying it is quite similar and it will come in at 169 US and is 360 mil only. Last up is the Galahad LCD. This is an ASTEC Gen 8 pump version. They did have the display on a case, but unfortunately I didn't get a good picture of it. It is a square image though with an LED strip uh, on the side. Uh, it's an ASTEC unit and the rad, it's more similar to the single stack design on the Trinity version we just saw. We'll come in at 360 or 280 versions at a 249 and a 229 MSRP respectively. With all these, one really neat development is the 45 degree swivel fitting on the radiator itself. Usually tubes go straight out from this point and that creates tons of fitment issues. We're at a minimum strange tubing positions. This is going to alleviate a lot of the issues uh, and it seems to work quite well as evident on the one installed in the SUP case. So thanks for checking in here. Please give a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, they are filming inside here with uh, Gamers Nexus. Thanks for hanging out here. Thanks for checking out the new product with me. And we'll see you in the next one.